In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called finding the time given an exponential function with base e that models a real world situation. Here, our real world situation is the equation here v of t, which represents a skydiver's velocity after some time t in seconds. So we're given our function. And we're asked after how many seconds will the skydiver's velocity be 57 meters per second? So we know the velocity at this point, v of t, will be 57. Substituting in, we have an expression that we need to solve for time. And I'll start by moving any terms that do not have t in it over to the other side of the equation. So I can subtract this 82 from both sides to move it from the right over to the left, giving me a negative 25 on the left, bringing down the rest of the right-hand side. I can continue isolating the t since this negative 82 is just being multiplied by the exponential part here. I can divide both sides by negative 82 to again simplify the right-hand side leaving me with just the e to the negative 0.18t. And on the left-hand side, the negatives would cancel, leaving me just 25 over 82. And from here, to get the t out of the exponent, I would want to introduce logarithms. And in particular, since the base is e, I would want to use natural logs on both sides because on the right-hand side, the log base e of e to the negative 0.18t will simplify to just that exponent. So we can see that we have the t no longer in the exponent, and I can continue to solve for t by dividing here both sides by negative 0.18. This cancels, leaving me just the t on the right-hand side. And on the left-hand side, we have an expression that we can easily plug into a calculator such as Desmos to get a decimal approximation. We are told to round to the nearest tenth. So rounding to the nearest tenth would be the 5, which is followed by a 9. So I would round up. So my t is 6.6 .6 seconds after the skydiver jumps their speed will be the 57 meters per second that we were asked to calculate. 